What's going on guys? My name is Epic Soren and we're back with another Pocket Planes episode. Uh, you guys seem to really like these episodes and I really like playing these episodes so we're gonna keep making them for now. Um, City Skylines didn't go so well. The city was kind of in the process of flopping and the episode, you know, didn't do good at all. So we're just gonna do another uh, probably 10 minute-ish episode. Uh, we're going to send this guy over to Santo Domingo, and we're going to take this one up to Guatemala. Which one is that? 03. And San Jose also to Guatemala, because Guatemala is a big city. They can handle, uh, you know, two, three planes at once. Oh... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and load up that guy, because he's willing to pay a bucks to get to Havana, and bucks are, well, worth it. Um, alrighty, so let's see, do we have any plane parts? We've got some Griffin parts, some, oh, we got all the Wallaby M parts there. Okay, um, we just need three parts for the Griffin, and I think that's the only thing we're trying to build at the moment. Um, do we get all? Okay. So all our planes are airborne except for the one in Santo Domingo which is in the process of boarding. So our next decision to make is do we want to fly to Cancun or Panama City? Personally, I'm thinking we're gonna fly to Cancun because well, you know, Cancun's a big tourist destination. And, I mean, these are all tourist destinations, and we're only flying from one to the next tourist destination. But, you know, the flights are pretty darn cheap. I mean, let's see, Santo Domingo to San Jose for $166. That's not something you're going to see any day, anytime soon in, uh, in the real world. Not that I know of, anyways. Um... How are we doing per hour on these guys? You definitely need to be retired. We want to be making at least a thousand coins an hour for every hour of flight time that the plane has. We want them to be bringing in at least a uh, thousand coins. So uh, obviously none of them have brought in any profit because well, they have brought in some, but they haven't brought in very much because they all have maybe two or three flights of flight time on them. So, yeah. Um, thinking we're going to go Cancun, but I will leave that up to you guys. Uh, do we go to Cancun? The big, uh, well, not really big, but it's a touristy, super nice beaches, Caribbean. Uh, lots of uh, American people fly down to... Cancun for uh, vacations. I've never been there myself, but I might go one day, you know, if I happen to fall into a small fortune. Uh, there's so many other places I want to visit, though. So, uh, yeah, the question of the day, Cancun or Panama City? That's the question of the day. Um... What do we do? Are we in a flight crew? Yeah, we're in Nimble Wiki. Uh, Minneapolis. That's actually not too far away. That's up there. What's the prizes for that? Just some bucks. Yeah, 35 bucks. Typical, they haven't given us any airplane prizes recently. And we don't have any events going on. Uh, we, do we, we don't have anything in the hangar. All your cameras are belonging to us. I hope not, because I need cameras to make my videos. Listening to this band I discovered called 10 Minutes to Santo Domingo. They're gonna be huge. Six minutes spent packed inside a Wallaby P is way too long. I can agree with that one. Huge jet just flew over my house in Santo Domingo. Well, that was a long time ago. Huge jet. Huge jet. I don't think we have any huge jets. Alrighty, we got new jobs in just a little bit here with this guy. 
Um, so I think the keeping it uh, two job cycles, so every time the jobs appear, refresh, we let it recycle those jobs twice per episode, just to get some uh, stuff going on. Um, we got these guys are about to land in Guatemala, less than a minute each, and there's new jobs. So let's see. Still nobody wants to go to Havana, but somebody does want to go to Guatemala, and they're also willing to pay a bucks, and we can take them right now with the 25% bonus. So we're going to fly that flight right now. This guy just landed in Guatemala, so we're going to fly... Is this a him or a her? Uh, Nathan, that's obviously a him. Santo Domingo, Havana, San Jose. Um, there's a lot of Santo Domingo flights there, and this plane's got a really nice range. So we're going to send him over to Santo Domingo for now. Well, I mean, we can't detour him or anything until he gets there, but, you know. Alrighty. Oh, I guess you're going to go to Santo Domingo 2, because that's the only way we're going to get our bonus. And Santo Domingo is a pretty big city, which is probably why it's drawing all this attention. Three of our four planes are going there. How much do I need to build the Wallaby M? Three bucks, and we can build the Wallaby M. Alrighty. And then the Griffin P is going to be... How many more parts do we need? Just the body for the Griffin P. And do we have the Griffin C right now? This is the Griffin, right? Yeah, Griffin C. Alrighty. 11 minutes to Santo Domingo, 4 minutes to Santo Domingo. Where did you go from? Okay. So uh, I think we're going to go through real quick just while our planes are flying around so we have something to do. And we're going to uh, give them all region-coded names. So we'll say this is a Caribbean. It's a Class 1. And it's a passenger, and it carries one. Caribbean, class one, passengers, one. There we go. That's, that's remem rememberable, I think. So then let's apply that to the next one down. So this is also Caribbean, but it's, and it's class one, but it's cargo, and it carries two. And this one is Caribbean, class one, passengers, and it carries two. Hmm, just realized I'm going to need to change that. So we'll start up at the top again. We also need to... Di uh, distinguish between specific airplanes. So we'll say it's a class, no, Caribbean class one bear claw one passenger. There we go. Because I don't expect to have more than one of anything. So it's a, it's a Caribbean class one bear claw. Those, that's what those are, right? Bear Claw P. Okay, so that shows us Caribbean Class 1, Bear Claw 1 passenger. Alrighty. So then this guy is a Caribbean Class 1 Navigator 2 Cargo. There we go. This will work, I think. And this guy is a Caribbean Class 1 Wallaby 2 Passengers. Get some extra coins there. And this one is a Caribbean Class 1 Griffin 1 Cargo. C1G1C. Oh, there's a word for that when something is the same forwards and backwards. Kind of neat there. Alrighty, how much uh, XP? 811. At least it's not 911. Um, and we might get 811 from the rest of these planes landing. Uh... It's it's uh, it's possible I think. 
how long till we get new jobs? Oh, less than a minute. And so we're going to let this guy land after we get the new jobs. We'll let him land in Santo Domingo. And then we're going to end the episode right there, I think, for now. Yeah. So now out here I can see it's a Caribbean class one bear claw one passenger. This one is the Caribbean class one wallaby two passengers. Love it. Very nice. Very handy. These things actually give me information and I can zoom way out and still see stuff when it's not, you know, crowding over itself like that. So new jobs just ticked, right? Yeah. So you got one passenger slot. What can we... Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted. 1496, Santo Domingo is the oldest continuously inhabited European settlement in the Americas. Huh. That's just four years after Columbus discovered America. So I guess that makes sense. Okay, but um, we wanted to see... We got passengers on this incoming plane, right? That's a lot of business to Havana. We might just take that. Yeah, we're going to take the business to, oh, got to pick the plane. There we go. We're going to go Sarah or Brenda. Sarah looks elderly, so we want to save her the stress. We're just going to put her straight through to Havana. There we go. There you go, Sarah Gordon. You have a nice flight. And you guys, I hope you had a nice video. Um, Yeah, so there we go. We got our planes flying around. Remember, the decision I need you guys to help me make is, are we going to go to Cancun, or are we going to go to Panama? Whatever you want, let me know. Comment below. And I love you guys. Peace. Bye.